I don't know if you've been paying attention, but 2024 has been a crazy year of advancements in the AI robotics space. What's happening right now is both incredible and a bit scary, to be honest. AI technology has taken huge leaps forward, and some of these robots are almost human-like in their abilities. In this video, we're diving into the latest and greatest AI robots released this year, exploring both the incredible advancements and the potential risks. If you have been having trouble keeping up with all the major updates and breakthroughs, don't worry, I got you covered. Just to set the stage, we're going to explore all the details of the newly released, much anticipated Figure 2 by Figure AI, an incredible advancement in human eye robotics. Then there is Tesla's upcoming Optimus 3 robot, set to redefine what we expect from household AI. I'm going to explain why I think actually Optimus is going to dominate the robotics and the human eye robotic market, so stay tuned for that. We'll also talk about Boston Dynamics' new electric robot that's turning heads, and then uh, Unitree's affordable robot that's both very powerful and agile and then towards the end i'll mention some other exciting upcoming ai robots that are hitting the space and have the potential to be game changers all right so let's jump right in we're going to start by the recently released figure 2 by figure ai and it's honestly extremely impressive here are some key features that make this robot stand out. Let's break it down. So first of all, the speech-to-speech -speech communication. Figure 2 can actually have conversation with you thanks to its integration with OpenAI. This robot uses speech-to-speech -speech reasoning, allowing it to understand and respond to verbal commands naturally. Imagine asking it to fetch a tool or complete a task and it replies just like a person would. This makes the interaction smooth and super intuitive. They actually did a demo of this when they released Figure 1. Let's take a look. I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it, so I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great, so based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great, can you put them there? Of course. All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. So now they're incorporating the same speech-to-speech -speech reasoning, obviously using large language model from OpenAI, which is the GPT model. So with the figure two, it's going to have even a more advanced speech-to-speech -speech reasoning because of the updates of GPT-4 model that they recently released. So this integration with OpenAI is extremely important and it's going to have a huge impact when it comes to these robots being able to have a natural conversation with human beings. All right, so the next one is this advanced self-learning abilities. One of the coolest features for Figure 2 is the ability to learn from its mistake. So Figure 2 can self-correct and get better over time, making it more efficient the longer it operates. And again, in this self-improvement aspect means that it's not just performing tasks, but actively getting smarter and more capable with each use, exactly like a human being would. So figure two has some enhanced physical capabilities as well. The figure two comes with a sleek matte black frame and hands that have 16 degrees of freedom, offering almost human equivalent strength and dexterity. And again, this is a huge improvement from figure one because initially the figure one was kind of really bulky. And the reason for that was because they wanted to make sure that it could withstand the extensive amount of testing um, that was needed in order to improve figure one to be able to have this slick and more robust design for figure two. So this sleek and matte frame and black frame that they applied for figure two allows the robot to really perform delicate tasks like handling fragile items with precision. And then it's also designed to be as close to human movement and capability as possible, making it very versatile for various applications, including uh, factory and including work that's kind of on a day-to-day -day basis, just like a normal human would. 
Figure two also has an improved battery life compared to figure one. So figure two got equipped with a 2.25 kilowatt hour battery, uh, which enjoys a 50% increase in runtime, giving it almost about 7.5 hours or seven and a half hours of operational time between the charges. And again, this extended battery life ensures that it can handle long shifts and continuous operations without frequent interruptions. Figure 2 also comes with a more sophisticated vision system compared to Figure 1. So Figure 2 is outfitted with six AI-powered cameras that provide a high level of visual understanding. Again, these cameras allow the robot to be able to navigate complex environments and interact with objects accurately. And based on the demo they did for Figure 1, the figure one had also the ability to really uh, recognize the objects around it and have interactions with it and also answer questions based on the observation. So the figure two update actually increases that ability to further um, have this advanced vision system, which again is a key for tasks that require detailed visual processing and interaction, making figure two highly effective in dynamic settings. All right, so next let's talk about Tesla's Optimus robot. Again, I'm gonna actually state um, why I think Tesla's Optimus robot is, in my opinion, going to dominate the AI robot market. So, but before I do that, let's just go ahead and kind of go through the details um, of what this humanoid robot is. And so I'm going to talk about the second generation humanoid robot because right now that's in the market. And then the third generation is coming up and Elon Musk actually mentioned this in an interview. But anyway, so that the second generation humanoid robot of Tesla Optimus is actually incredible. It's really pushing the boundaries and kind of setting new standards. Here are, again, some of the most advanced uh, features and the, and the key features that really make this Optimus truly exceptional. So first of all, the enhanced dexterity and the hand functionality is crucial here. So Optimus got a major upgrade with hands that have 22 degrees of freedom. Again, this is incredibly close to human hands capability, which again, human beings have 27 degrees of freedom. So it's, it's kind of way more advanced than figure two even, uh, but you can see that this uh, 22 degrees of freedom gives it the ability to actually even perform additional difficult tasks that a normal robot wouldn't do. So these advanced hands, again, allow Optimus to perform tasks that require precision and dexterity, like for example, picking up delicate objects and assembling components. And this makes it a perfect fit for tasks in manufacturing. And also beyond that, like for household items, because in uh, the hands itself, it has really great functionality. It has the ability to actually sense heat, touch, and be able to apply a pressure according to what object it's picking up, which really showcases how incredible the engineering is behind the hands. And Elon Musk actually mentioned this in an interview with, with Lex Freeman that the most important and the hardest engineering for a humanoid robot goes in the hand, explains how difficult it is to create the functionality of uh, fingers and hands and all of the abilities that we have that we take for granted. So Tesla has integrated a cutting edge neural network into Optimus, enabling it to basically learn and perform tasks autonomously. So this AI really allows Optimus to process vast amount of data and improve its performance over time. It can handle tasks like moving battery cells, for example, on production line, which they have already incorporated in Tesla production lines, and then working in coordination with other robots, kind of really showcasing its advanced problem solving skills and its adaptability to the environment. So the Tesla Optimus also has an extended battery life and it's really efficient. So Optimus boasts a robust battery system right now that supports extended operational hours. So this feature really, again, ensures that robot can handle long shifts and continuous tasks without frequent recharging. And this is super important when it comes to a robot, a humanoid robot that's working, whether it's in a factory environment or it's working in a natural home environment. Uh, again, Tesla's focus really has been on energy efficiency, which means that Optimus can really maximize uh, productivity while kind of really minimizing downtime. And again, one of the biggest reasons why I really think that uh, Optimus robot is gonna dominate the market is, and Elon Musk mentioned this in an interview, the, I, the concept of a humanoid robot to be able to be accessible for general public means that it needs to have a mass production. What does that mean, right? So mass production is a crucial for every single technology in order for it to be adapted by the wider um, society. And the reason for that is because 
it needs to be at a price point where a normal person is able to afford it. And that's what Elon Musk has the advantage because of the fact that they have mastered this concept of mass production with their Tesla cars and uh, with their battery operations. So they have a huge advantage compared to other robots. So that's why, in my opinion, like Tesla is going to dominate this market in the future just because of that simple reason that they have uh, the ability to mass produce these things new Chinese robot named G1 that is mind-blowing. The company that made this robot is called Unitree. They just released a trailer for this robot and it's incredible. The G1 stands out for its flexibility, skill and overall capabilities. It's clear that this robot is a game changer so let's break this down why. The Unitree G1 resembles Boston Dynamics Atlas robot which of course they released their trailer a few weeks ago that kind of freaked everybody out. Uh, obviously Unitree has been around for a while but with this new robot, it just shows how quickly they're advancing and bringing impressive technology at an affordable price. The crazy part is that the G1 starts at just $16,000, which honestly is a bargain compared to other humanoid robots with similar features. I don't think Boston Dynamics or Tesla have revealed their pricing for their humanoid robots, but I guarantee you they're not $16,000. But as innovation continues and production scales up for this robot, the price of this advanced robot is definitely expected to drop even further, which means that in the near future, honestly, having a personal robot assistant could become a reality for many of us, uh, basically transforming the way we live and work. If they get this down to $10,000, I would imagine a lot of people would buy it just for fun. So one major highlight is that G1's flexibility and range of motion, which is very, very impressive. It can twist and move in ways that are really crazy. And again, that's because of its multiple joint technology that I'll explain in a little bit. So this multiple joint technology allows for a really efficient movement and compact design, making the G1 really an important player in the robotics field. Another standout feature is its stability. So the G1 can take a hit and really stay stable, which is a crucial for real world situation where these personal robots might face wind, debris or unexpected uh, impacts when it comes to uneven terrain or just like running around. They need to have the ability to be very stable. And um, again, this stability is something that most other humanoid robots struggle with. So the G1 is actually also very, very fast. It reaches speeds of up to 3.3 meters per second, which is really nearly a running speed for a normal human. This makes it even actually faster than a lot of the other humanoid robots, including the Tesla bot. Another really impressive feature is that G1's ability to learn tasks through simulation and then perform them in real world. So using imitation and reinforcement learning, the G1 can be trained in virtual environments and then apply those skills in reality. So this makes the advanced robotics research more accessible and affordable for labs and universities because they can run these learning in virtual environments rather than in a physical environment where you can imagine it will be very expensive and very limiting. Another feature is that the G1 also has really useful hands that can handle objects with really great precision. It can do things like crush a walnut, flip a bread, and open a can of soda with these. Okay, maybe not opening soda with ease yet because the way they showed it in a demo, it, nobody wants their soda open like that. But anyway, so moreover, the, the G1 features um, actually an AI system, which is called the Unitree Robot Unified Large Model, which allows it to perform tasks autonomously. So while details are still emerging about this particular model, but it seems that this model uh, will be trained on vast data set of both kind of simulated and real world interaction. But overall, the Unitree G1 is, in my opinion, really a game changer, especially if they can reduce the price point here. Just the combination of flexibility, stability, the dexterity, and again, the affordability really opens up new possibilities in the field of robotics. So I really can't wait to see what researchers and developers achieve with this platform when it starts shipping soon. Because again, based on what they're showing in this demo and based on their website, like this could be a really cool robot that's very again affordable for um, anybody if they could bring the price down a little further it's really exciting because because the robot race is really heating up and uh, unitree is now proving to be a major contender amongst other chinese robotics companies and then obviously the robotic companies in the u.s like boston dynamics tesla robots and other new ones that are coming into the picture the future looks a lot fun with these types of robots i'm hoping uh, that the price points gets to a point where basically anyone can afford these types of robots and these robots can actually do the basic tasks around the household where you can really utilize and take advantage of these new technologies. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.